Well, hello there, everyone. Don't let the title fool you. This really is a special little 6040. Um, it's quite heavy. Uh, the all up package weight here is approximately, I think it's around about 90 kilos. At least felt that way. And it's packaged really, really well. double package them then um, you know there's less likelihood of any damage uh, you know can be uh, done to the packet the, the item inside the package so uh, you can tell it's fairly heavy because I'm having a little bit of trouble here trying to get it off but uh, you know, one person can do it if I can do it you know most people can I think So minimal tools to uh, open the package. Just something to cut the uh, steel uh, band in there, and uh, just an ordinary claw hammer and a bit of a uh, Tommy bear. I think they used to be called. So it's a fairly easy process to uh, undo the the package if you have you know the the correct tool in to do it. But I suppose you could use a hammer and screwdriver. The top comes off fairly easy. Now inside the package, everything is wrapped up really well it's actually um, strapped down to the the base so it can't move so I'll give you a good look all around there and everything is clean and dry I'm sure a lot of you have maybe just noticed that, hey, the gantry's attached. This really is a plug and play unit. It is all intact. You don't have to bolt anything on anything. So now I'm just going through the different parts that uh, come with it. Open the little toolbox there and show you this the um, Z height tool setter, and a spare fuse, and what else have we got? A oh, USB cable, and oh, that's for the coolant, and a set of complementary cutters, and this is a set of, um, yeah, 20 collets, all, uh, all the way up to 12, 12 millimeter, I think. Uh, three millimeters is the smallest. This is the uh, pump for the coolant. The larger pump for the coolant. Give you more pressure. This is the fourth axis. Now, this isn't a flimsy fourth axis. This is one, um, it's, it's a, a really decent job. So it's not a toy one, like uh, normally is supplied with a, a 60-40 or a, um, what is it, a 30-40. This is not a toy. And this is the electrical unit. And you'll note, well, when I get it the right way up, this is actually uh, aircraft quality. This is an aluminium case. And of course, all aircraft uh, quality uh, connectors as well. So this is uh, me and my mate Steve lifting it out. And it is definitely a two-person lift. 
It's about 60 kilograms, which is, oh, look, about 120 pounds, thereabouts. There's a lot of metal in this. Well, there she is. Now this, without a doubt, is the Rolls Royce of 6040 CNC machines. No one builds uh, a 6040 CNC machine at this price, in this way. It is solid. Just to give you some idea of how solid it is, this is um, cast aluminium machined. Now this also is aluminium and it is 20 millimeters or um, there we go what's that three just over three quarters of an inch plate aluminium now that is what this machine entire machine is made of I don't think people really believed me when I uh, showed them in the other video look 20 millimeter three quarters of an inch it's just over three quarters of an inch, I think, you'll find. That's the back plate there, chassis. There's a chassis member here. This is uh, aluminium angle secured to this. And you have a linear rail there with solid aluminium base. This is solid, solid hardened steel bar. This also mounted uh, in here, and this uh, uh, cl uh, clamping collar as well, which is attached to this. So all this is solid, no flex. It's the same everywhere. So that's what these caps are for on here. A lot of people actually didn't believe that it was uh, linear rails. Well, as you can see in there, I hope you can see in there, it is linear round rail. So this plug here, this is where the um, the calibrating uh, tester goes, or the, the, the little unit that you put on here to, um, it's the touch off probe for the tool, for the Z height. Everything about this machine has been over engineered by a factor of about 10 I think. Uh, this is an LED light, so you can, I, I always like good light, so uh, I had them put a LED light on as well. Uh, this, is a two, this is the upgrade to the 2.2 kilowatt. Uh, this is the, um, the coolant uh, tank, which I, I advise everybody to get, actually. Uh, it's a, it's a, at the moment, it's a $95 um, upgrade. And that includes uh, the entire coolant uh, system with it, and it's well worth the price. Um, it all adds rigidity uh, to the whole machine. So the gantry is very, very strong. Taking out all the flex, or as much as, much as the flex. So there's a, a bit of a look around it. Uh, you can, I think you can pick up there how thick these are. This is not the standard type of bed that you will you will get on anything else uh, that's uh, this size of um, 6040. Now then, this uh, umbilical cord. Uh, let me just uh, change the camera around here. Okay, so. Okay, so here's a, a look around the back, and it's much of the same, very, very strongly built. All axes have proximity sensors, there's one there for the X, there's one down there for the Y, and there's one hidden inside here for the Z, of which there's a little screw back in there that you can adjust up and down to actually fully adjust it. 
as indeed you can adjust all of them. Now the umbilical cord, now I've seen lots of people on the internet, they do complain about, oh the leads are too short. Well, I think we've solved that. Now that is an, a standard length. That is five feet from where you see it come out of the, um, the box section there. It's five feet long. These of course are the coolant. The orange one is uh, for the tool coolant and the blue pair here, this is a feed and return to the spindle. And I'll show you how to connect that up a little bit later. This here is the drain back to the uh, coolant pump or tank. Uh, that, that would be for the, uh, the flood coolant. If you're cutting aluminium, brass, copper, you know, uh, soft metals, um, and stone. So there's a view from the back. Uh, you'll notice that uh, on each axis it has on the end of the ball screws it has let me just spin around on the end of each axis you'll find that it has an adjustment wheel that you can actually manually um, operate each axis if you desire to. There has been occasions where I need to, uh, on, on my larger machine over there, uh, and my other machines as well, um, that I've wanted to manually operate them. So I asked for this to be so on this machine. And uh, there it is. So I think you'll agree that it's a uh, solid looking machine because it is. This ladies and gentlemen is 6040 CNC router. This is the Rolls Royce of 6040 CNC routers. And this little machine will do everything that that machine will do um, you know, given the size it is, providing you can get it under the gantry, it'll machine it. And um, it, it won't do hard materials, it won't machine it as fast as uh, the larger machine, but it'll still machine it, it'll make a very good job of it.